Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are all good and safe. My prayers go out for the people in Ukraine. The unfortunate happened. Russia went to war. They start to attack Ukraine and I think um, you guys already know this. And yeah, we lived through some rough times. So yeah, my prayers go out for for the people out there. I mean, it's crazy. It's just crazy. I think that I'm not the only one that thought that this won't happen. I think that many of you guys thought the same, but unfortunately, it wasn't like we thought. So, yes, and of course, this have a consequence on everything, including the cryptocurrency market, the stock market, everything. Everything is affected by this. So, yeah, guys, before we get into the video, this won't be a very long video i don't want to steal too much of your time before we get into this video guys if you like the content that you see make sure to be subscribed to the channel because i will try to be as consistent as possible to bring out value for you guys to be able to achieve financial freedom through trading crypto forex and also nfts so if you like what you see make sure you stay tuned okay so let me just get straight into the video guys today of course we're gonna talk about the crash that just happened because of the war going on as we can see the market took a big hit the market cap is at 1.6 trillion very very low the volatility is high uh, but man bitcoin dumped through 35k now it's at 35.9 almost a 30 6k ethereum dumped as well pretty much everything everything dropped xrp at 65 cents cardano at 79 solana at 84 dollars terra at 56 dollars damn avex at 69 dot a 15 dollars and so on every single coin dropped chronos at 37 cents so yeah guys I, I assume that a lot of you have a red portfolio now i assume that a lot of you uh are on the negative side and guess what i'm in the same situation as well there's no reason in me um being like oh i took profits when the market was up and now i'm just waiting for it to drop even further i just bought i bought at 50k i'm using bitcoin as a reference okay because you guys know that if bitcoin drops the whole market drops and the opposite around as well so I pretty much bought when Bitcoin was at 50K, then when it dropped 40K, 35K, I even bought at 33K. Then I was almost at break even when the market pumped the last week. Uh, but now I'm, I'm on the negative side as well. So what to do now, guys, what to do now? So of course, this is just my personal opinion, but in my opinion, guys, you shouldn't sell what you already have. If you bought high like I did and then accumulated, I suggest you guys doing the same. You can accumulate even more. Of course, you can want if you want, you can wait for price to drop even further. Me personally, I like to accumulate every every couple of days. So when I see a drop, I accumulate. Then when I see another drop, I accumulate even more. But yeah, I cannot stress this enough, guys. Don't invest money that you depend on, okay? Because these things right here can happen and we don't know how much it will take for Bitcoin to bounce back up and create all time highs and for everyone to make money, you know. So that's why you guys need to invest money that you can afford losing. So, yeah, that's pretty much my personal opinion. You should got, you should just hold. And if you want, you could uh, you could stack even more. That's what I do. You can do whatever you want. It's just my opinion. OK. If you have any questions, of course, make sure to drop them in the comments about any single crypto coin that you want me to, to tell you about, my opinion or anything else. And yeah, like I would just accumulate. I would just accumulate. To be honest, uh, I don't think Bitcoin will drop below 28K. And if it does, I think the last support will be 20K. I don't think it will drop below 20K, okay? So of course I would be <laughs> I would be in a big big drawdown there. I won't gonna lie, I will be in more than fifty percent drawdown, so it's crazy. 
but yeah if that happens i will accumulate even more and just wait for the market to bounce back up i don't see this market crashing to zero therefore i'm willing to play the waiting game and uh, yeah I'm, I'm just keeping it simple i know it's rough i know it's frustrating that the whole market crashed it's really really rough for the people out there that have to suffer these war consequences in ukraine uh it's really sad i mean this trading stuff doesn't even matter when you think about what other people have to go through but yeah guys my job here is to is to keep you updated of what i of what i am doing and hopefully guys you will also get some value from it and you might be able to create your own path to financial freedom because I think that's everyone's goal at the end of the day that starts investing in crypto or wants to trade Forex. And also, guys, those that are interested in learning my Forex strategies, the one that I use day by day, or join my Signal group, make sure to join to DM me on Telegram. I will leave my link in the video description down below. And yeah, guys, this, this is pretty much it for today's video. As I said, I didn't want it to make it too long. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update of what I am doing right now. So yeah, by any means, uh, if you want to, to know what I do, I'm just accumulating even more and waiting. This is a waiting game pretty much. And now all we have to do is wait and accumulate, of course, if you want to. If not, then just hold what you already have. I wouldn't suggest selling okay this is uh this is my personal opinion i wouldn't suggest selling you can start getting into low cap coins as well if you want to make some research on them there's a lot of very good deals right now we have polygon at one dollar per 35 we have chronos at 37 cents we have atom at 23 dollars chaining at 12 dollars like there's plenty there's plenty of good deals right now h bar at 20 cents phantom at one dollar forty so you guys have uh, a lot of projects to choose from also from the top 10 we have ethereum under 2.5k uh xrp at 65 cents solana at 84 dollars terra at 57 dollars so yeah it goes on and on the list goes on and on and yeah guys this was pretty much it for the video today if you have any questions, make sure to drop them in the comment section down below. I will make sure to check them out and answer as quickly as possible. And yeah, if you like the video, make sure you're subscribed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.